This is AJ Harrison with UWBadgers.com. Number three ranked Wisconsin women's hockey team takes its talents to the Twin Cities this weekend to face number two Minnesota in a border battle showdown at Ritter Arena. Well, I think, and certainly, uh, you know, maybe our last three or four games uh, against them, uh, you know, they found ways to beat us. And, uh, you know, if we're going to be successful and have a chance to win, uh, you know, we just have to do uh, a lot of the little things better. Uh, you know, it starts with special teams, and, and certainly uh, it starts with our goaltender. Uh, and so if somebody gets you and they get you a second time or a third time, then, you know, you, as you prepare for them the next time, uh, you just have to do a lot of the, the little things a little bit better than you did in those previous matches. This weekend series marks the second time the two border battle rivals have met this season. In the first game of the series in Madison back in October, the number two Gophers tallied three first period strikes on their way to a 4-1 triumph over the then number one ranked Badgers. Wall Road, Minnesota native Carly Sylvester scored UW's lone goal in the series opener. In the series finale of Madtown, Sarah Nurse tallied a power play goal, which looked like the game winner, but Minnesota found the back of the net on its own power play chance with less than three minutes remaining and scored with a minute left in OT to steal a 2-1 win at Le bon Arena. Looking at the WCHA standings, the Badgers currently are up five points on the Gophers, but the Badgers have played two more conference tilts than Minnesota. Minnesota and Wisconsin hold down the number two and number three spots in the USCHO.com poll as the series at Ritter Arena marks the first time since 2011-12 that the second rated Gophers host UW without the number one ranking. Four Badgers rank in the top 25 in points per game as Carly Sylvester ranks 12th nationally, averaging 1.32 points per contest. Amy Pankowski is 15th, while Brittany Ammerman is 19th and Blair Turnbull is 25th. Looking at the Gophers, Hannah Brandt leads the WCHA with 40 points this year, while Danny Cameronese's 34 points ranks second. This weekend's series features two of the nation's top goaltenders as Amanda Levier has a winning percentage of .912, which ranks second nationally, while Anne Renee Davian's .853 winning percentage is the fourth best mark nationally. One of the big keys of the series is the special teams play as Minnesota enters the weekend with the nation's top power play unit, while Wisconsin boasts the nation's best penalty kill group. Yeah, I think special teams can make or break uh, the game. Um, you know, we've had a bit of trouble on our power play, uh, but if we come out, we get a couple power play goals um, and stay strong in the penalty kill, we shouldn't have any problems. Well, it's our ability to play with good discipline. Uh, as you mentioned, they've got, uh, and, you know, history tells us their, their power play's generally been pretty good over the last six or seven years. Uh, this year's no different. Uh, it's our job to stay out of the penalty box. And so you might be able to, you know, get by with two or three uh, penalties. Uh, you start getting into that four to six range and, uh, you know, you're asking for trouble. And so the Badgers are coming off of a month-long break with their last series coming at home in December, while Minnesota is fresh off a sweep of St. Lawrence. And usually it's the first period, uh, but obviously playing against Minnesota, you know, the focus would be there probably a little bit more than if we were playing somebody else. And so it, it won't take long for our players to get up at speed just because of the magnitude of the series. <clears throat> uh, you know, the schedule is what it is. And, uh, you know, as a coach, it's our job to, you know, create practice and create the atmosphere within practice that, that, that simulates a game. Are you ever going to get there? Probably not, but you're, you're going to be pretty close. And, uh, again, I don't mind coming out of the shoot playing Minnesota just because I know that uh, our, our players will be ready, they'll be focused, and uh, it, it'll be a fun series to be part of. Uh, yeah, we had, uh, you know, three weeks off. Uh, it's nice to come back here, uh, not have to worry about school, um, just focus on practicing. Uh, we've had some good practices here, so trying to uh, simulate a game situation, um, and, you know, I think we've uh, grown a lot over this past week and uh, we're going to come ready to play Saturday. Saturday's game will air nationally on BTN and can be seen online via BTN To Go, while Sunday's game can be viewed online via BTN Plus. Fans can also listen to both games on the mic, 92.1 FM, as Reed Magnum has the call from Ritter Arena. Finally, fans can follow the games with the Game Day Live blog on uwbadgers.com.